What's going on guys and welcome to the third video in this series. In this video we are going to cover this ML moving ground class we um, created the frame for in the last video. Basically what we're going to do is create this. So we're going to have it so we have our iPhone screen, we have our ground set up, and um, when we click we want it to start moving. So we just want kind of like a basic starting point for our world and um, kind of something that our hero can interact with. So let's close out of that and let's get started here. So um, for a moving ground, first we want to set a couple or a few constants. So we want to say the number of segments and a segment I'm defining as to be one of those squares that has a color in it. Um, we're going to say the number of segments that our moving ground is going to have is going to be 20. And then we're also going to set the colors to be two constants just to make it easy. Um, the only reason you really make constants is to make your code easily editable. So like all the things that you want to change should generally be kind of at the top of your program. And um, that's just good programming practice. So let's just do that right now. So we're going to set color one equal to this. And again, you guys can set them to whatever you want. These are just a couple different shades of green, kind of to give that effect of um, kind of grass going by or some kind of earthy thing going by here. So the alpha there, we're gonna say let color two equals UI color. Um, this is gonna be 120, 255, 195, and 118.0. And yeah, so now we have our few constants that we can use for this initial initialization we're gonna do. So um, to start, a good thing we can do is we can just call the um, the superclass. So we're be, we're going to be calling the sk sprite node initializer, and by super the superclass of this class is going to be um, sk sprite node. And I actually forgot to put that in here, so that's that's a pretty important part. So we're going to say our ml moving ground is a subclass subclass of the sk sprite node um, framework class. So now we're just going to be, we're, just, we're, just, we're saying our ML moving ground is an SK sprite node. However, it has some specialized behavior, um, such as being able to move and so on and so forth. So then in our init method, we're going to just initialize a basic square that we can use. Um, so we're going to use that same, we're going to use, actually, no, we're not going to use the same initializer that we used to set that test sk sprite node ground node we um, put down. Instead, we're going to use this method um, right here. Let's, let's see here. So we're going to super.init. And the reason I don't use, um, like before when we set down that ground node, we used this method right here. This is actually something called a convenience method. It's, um, not, an act it's not the actual method that um, the actual like method within the class that does all the work. So basically when what Apple did when they set up their framework is they had this method call this method, which is the main method, which um, ends up creating your SK sprite node. But long story short, basically just use this method because this is the actual, this is not a convenience method. This is the actual method that creates our SK sprite node. For the texture, we can just put nails just to um, negate that option. For the color, we're going to say UI color dot brown color, just so we can see what it looks like. Um, and for the size, we're going to actually put something kind of interesting here. So we're going to say um, CG size make. For the width, we're going to say it's going to be equal to our size dot width. And again, the size I'm getting from right here, um, the thing that you pass into the initializer, times two. And the reason that we're going to make the width two times the size is so, so that we can run the ground across the screen, um, across the entirety of the screen, and then we can kind of teleport it back to its original location. And that kind of gives you that effect that the ground is going by continuously. The height, we're just going to do size.height. And awesome. Now just to, uh, let's give it here. Oh yeah, also, um, quick note, anytime you create an initializer that either overrides or kind of creates a new init method, you have to put this in here just to, um, basically, this, initializ this initialization method doesn't have the coder method implemented. 
Um, basically, but you can just really forget about this. Just put it in there, make sure it's in there. And we're not even gonna have to worry about this in this entire tutorial series. So just to make sure we have this all working, let's go back into our game scene class. And instead of all this, we're going to say um, ML moving ground. We have our size method and we're going to do CG size make with we want it to be the entirety of our view here, height 20. So now if we run this, oh, I have to close out the simulator in my other Xcode open. And so it loads up here. Okay, with that. Stop. Okay. <laughs> and now we are loading up. So You'll see basically this is our moving ground class. We just want to make sure that it's all um, it's working and we kind of set up the initialization method correctly. So yeah, that's all good. Let's go back into our ML moving ground class. Um, here we are going to now set, we're gonna do just one more thing in this video just so the video doesn't get too long. We're going to set the anchor point of our moving ground class and we're gonna set this equal to um, zero and 0 0.5. And just for a quick explanation of anchor points, I guess here, let me pull up, oh, wait, one second, my screen just went black. Um, let's, let me pull up just kind of a basic thing here to kind of explain what an anchor point is. Um, an anchor point is the place that the block is positioned on. So say, say I have an anchor point of of zero, zero. Let's say like, this is an anchor point of zero, zero right here. If I were to position um, this SK sprite node, say this is an SK sprite node within the view, it's gonna position it around this point. So let's say I put this in the center of the view, it's gonna look like this is a little bit to the top right because the anchor point is in the bottom left corner. Now we're going to set um, our anchor point actually to uh, the x value of 0 and y value of 0 0.5 right here because it's going to make it easier just to position all the elements we need to create our moving ground class. And that's just a quick basic explanation. In the next video, hopefully we can um, get some functionality in this ML moving ground class and kind of just get things working.